Hi everyone, so there's a great opportunity for you guys to either get an internship or a placement offer at Flipkart. So Flipkart Grid is here and in this video I'm going to tell you everything about it, round by round, how you can crack it and what all you need to do. But before we start, just a reminder the registrations will be closing soon. The link to register is in the description. Don't waste any more time. Don't wait till the last minute. Go on right now to the link in the description and register for it. All right. And now let's get into the video. So first of all, eligibility. What is the eligibility? That is the first question that I get, right? So everyone is eligible. Everyone from BE, BTEC, first year to final year, everyone is eligible. There is no such thing that only this college is allowed or that college is not allowed. Every college is allowed. Whether you're from a TA3 or you're from a IIT, it is on equal footing. So BE, BTEC, first year to final year from all colleges, you are eligible. So make sure to register. Now, what do you get in it? So there's a variety of prizes. Of course, this cash price of up to 6 lakhs. But apart from that, the best part is that for third year and fourth year students, you're getting summer and winter internship opportunities. And apart from that, you're also getting placement offer for SDE1, which pays a whopping CDC of 32 LPA plus, right? So it is an amazing opportunity. Let's discuss how you can crack it round by round. All right. So first thing that is going to happen is going to be a screening round. So this is sort of like a registration shortlisting. So what you need to do, you need to have a resume ready. And your resume should be top notch. Okay. So make sure that you don't have anything unnecessary information in your resume. Make sure that you have your coding profiles, whatever you have. If you're on code forces, lead code, make sure to put your coding profile there because Flipkart is a company that cares about your coding prowess. It cares about how good you are in problem solving. So in your resume, keep your coding profile, lead code, course forces, code shift, whatever you have participated into, keep it. Apart from that, one thing that is very important is your project section. What are the projects have you worked on? Have you worked on any good projects? Try to keep the best project that you have in it because this is again going to make a huge difference. If you have a good CGPA, highlight it because again for first year, second year students, this is going to be very important because generally the one thing that first year, second year focus on is CGPA, right? So these three things will generally matter in your resume. Try to make a perfect resume. You'll find many, many tutorials online on how to make a good resume. But in a nutshell, this is what you need to do. You need to highlight your coding profile and the project section. These two sections should be impeccable. All right. Make sure that your registration details are all sorted. And after that, you will be shortlisted. Now, the next round is going to be coding round. So this is going to be very amazing. And uh, there will be three questions, three coding problems. So you'll have to do them in 90 minutes in the language of your choice. Now, what type of problems can you expect? Let's get into the details of that and what you can do to practice right now before the coding round. All right. So first of all, you can expect medium to hard problems. Do not expect any easy problem. So you can expect lead code medium. You may not get very hard problem, but the problems will be in the ranging of lead code medium to lead code hard. Or you can say code forces div 2 C, div 2 D, lower level basically. So it is going to be medium hard. Now, the important topics. So Flipkart really likes graphs and DP. So you can expect a problem from either graph, DP or trees. These are important topic, right? And apart from that, you have arrays and strings. These are also very important. You can get a variety of questions from these topics. And then you have greedy, recursion. These are also very important. So these are the most important topics basically that you need to be very good in. More important topics you'll find in the description box. You'll also get some great resources in the description box. Make sure that you check that out. But these are the important topics. And if you want to practice, make sure that you do Striver Sheet. So Striver Sheet is a great resource for cracking any sort of a coding round, whether it's Flipkart Grid or whether it's just a hiring challenge. Striver Sheet is basically a one stop, right? So I'll tell you the sheet. I'll give the link in the description. Try to solve all medium level problems at the bare minimum in Striver Sheet. If you have already solved, try to revise the topics that I have mentioned. Apart from that, the time management is going to be extremely important because when you're doing lead code, you're pretty relaxed, you're coding, you're coding and you're taking your time. But here it is going to be a competition. This is going to be a coding round and even a couple of minutes can make a huge difference. So you need to code fast. If two people solve the same problem, the one who does it early wins. So make sure that you are properly managing your time. 
okay and the way you can do that just try to give contest you don't need to wait for lead code to host the contest you can do virtual contest again on code forces you can do virtual contest make sure that you do at least some contest before the coding round happens to get an idea of you know how you will be managing your time and how you'll be doing basically all right you have to be careful about the test cases do not code the brute force unless you have, unless you don't have any other approach okay so coding round is going to be very important if you go past the coding round there's a 70 80 percent chance that you can win okay coding round is basically where majority of the candidates go back and this is where you can show your worth this is where you can show your grade so give contest practice lead code practice from shriver sheet and I'll give few extra resources in the description box. Apart from this, you can also solve Flipkart tagged problems. So you'll get Flipkart tagged problems on geeks for geeks There's also a repository which has Flipkart tagged problems. Both of those links I'll give in the description box. Make sure that you solve Flipkart tagged problems as well as that will also help you get an idea or similar type of problems can come. All right. So give contest, practice on lead code, practice with driver sheet and make take a look at the resources in the description box. All right. Once you do all of that, you'll be able to clear the coding round. Now, next two rounds are sort of like a hackathon. Okay. So there's an ideation round, which is the next round. And then after you get selected, you'll be able to go to the Bangalore office with a fully sponsored trip. If you come into the top 48. All right. So for winning a hackathon, the first thing that is important is the mindset that you need. All right. So I've made two very amazing videos about how you can win any hackathon with both Aryan and Shivam. Both of them are multiple times hackathon winner. I really, really suggest that you go and watch those videos. A good part of winning the hackathon is about your mindset and knowing what to do. And in both of those videos, it's very beautifully explained what you need to do. Now, coming to the technical part, you need to have a basic knowledge of system design, like how do systems work? How do API calls work? How does database work? How does design work? Apart from that, you need to have some specialty in your tech stack. So whatever tech stack you choose, you can have some specialty in that. You can have some practice in that. But if you're starting from scratch, like always my suggestion will be just take a crash course on YouTube and just start learning from there. Okay. But focus on the ideation. Make sure that your ideation is pretty proper. Okay. Whatever the problem statement is given to you, there'll be a problem statement. Make sure that your ideation is pretty proper. Okay. And uh, in Shivam's video, I've also explained how you can come up with a good idea. So make sure that you watch that, right? So make sure you're proficient in a tech stack. Make sure you have a decent idea about design. And that is pretty much it. The biggest hurdle I would say is going to be the coding round. So that is where the majority of your focus should be lying on practicing DSA, practicing problem solving. So try to divide like 60, 40, 60% of your time, try to give into DSA. If you're already good with DSA, you can focus on sort of the hackathon segment but both of these things you'll be needing to clear even if you don't end up winning it is going to be a great experience for you and especially if you get a chance to visit the bangalore campus it's going to be amazing it is going to be like a short trip for you guys you'll be able to network with a lot of individuals and it is going to be a great experience for you going through the rounds clearing the rounds trust me it is going to be a great experience so don't worry about the competition don't think whether you'll win or not just register all of this is practice and eventually, when you keep going through all of this, you will be able to crack the company that you want to. And don't worry, this is not the only opportunity for you. I'll be bringing way more opportunities as soon as it comes. You will see it on this channel. So make sure that you subscribe and go register and let me know how your practice is going and let me know how it goes. So yeah, that's all. Thank you.